Well, the secret formula for Kentucky Fried Chicken is locked away in a safe in Louisville. Another closely guarded secret is locked away in Marvin Lewis's brain. Will the Bengals play their starters tomorrow at Kansas City? Reports indicate that Carson Palmer will start, but will only play a few series. While the game doesn't mean much to the Bengals, it's huge for Kansas City thanks to the Denver Broncos. If Denver had lost to San Diego today, the Chiefs would have been eliminated from playoff contention, but Drew Brees dislocated his shoulder and the Chargers did not put up much of a fight. Mike Anderson got the day off, but Tatum Bell is a more than adequate backup. He ran for three touchdowns this afternoon. On the defensive end, John Lynch was all over the field, forcing a pair of fumbles, one that led to a touchdown. That one resulted in a safety. The Broncos rolled to their 13th win of the season, doing Kansas City a huge favor in the process. Denver over San Diego today, 23-7. to So Kansas City still has a shot at the playoffs. In fact, the Chiefs could be here next weekend if the following three things happen. They beat the Bengals, the Lions win at Pittsburgh, and the Dolphins win at New England. But the more likely scenario is this. If the Bengals win tomorrow, they host Pittsburgh next week. And if they lose, they host Jacksonville. With more on tomorrow's game at Kansas City, here's Brian Giesenslaw with your Saturday Scoop on Sunday's game. This week, the Bengals made sure Carson Palmer would play in Cincinnati for the next nine years. They just won't say if he'll play in Kansas City on a sore groin this weekend. If I'm not ready to play, I'm not ready to play. Um, but everything I've done so far and um, is, can, you know, is, is part of the process to get me ready to play. The official word from Marvin Lewis on his quarterback is probable. But what about the rest of the Bengals' big names? Which is more important? to play well against the Chiefs or to be well rested for the playoffs. I'm not sure how how that's going to work. They haven't said anything to us, so I would assume like it's game one, game seven, whatever it may be that we're going to play. He hasn't said anything to us. But there is one certainty mixed in with all the questions this week. It's that the Chiefs at Arrowhead Stadium have one of the best home field advantages in football. Thanks in part to Dick Vermeil's offensive machine, spearheaded by 1,500-yard back Larry Johnson. He's been an animal. I mean, he's been breaking tackles, making plays. Uh, shoot, you know, and then y'all know who they got, uh, Trent Green and Tony Gonzalez and Kennison and Hall. Their offense, they put points on the board, and there's, <laughs> there's no doubt in that. So it will be a tough challenge for us defensively. So win or lose, with or without the starters in Kansas City, the playoffs start next week, and the Bengals, depending on what happens, have a home game as either the third or fourth seed. The importance of the playoffs starts this week. So we're in playoff mode, you know, starting now. And so we'll continue going into next week. So you can look for us to actually be playing actually like it's our first playoff game this week. I don't care who we play. You know, all I know is we've got a home playoff game next week. You know, I don't know what day, what time or nothing, but I know we got a home playoff game next week and that's really all that matters. But don't let people scare you and outside people outside this city scare our fans and, and if it's Pittsburgh, it's Pittsburgh. We'll take them on, our fans take their fans on and it'll be a fight. There was one change to the injury report on Friday. Pro Bowl cornerback Delpha O'Neal was downgraded from questionable to doubtful with a bruised knee. Brian Giesenslaw, Fox 19 Sports. Brian was on the team plane today and will report from Arrowhead Stadium tomorrow. The Chiefs have won their last 18 home games in the month of December, a streak the Bengals can't end since the game falls on January 1st. And don't forget to ring in the new year by joining us for Chad's Corner tomorrow night on Sports Wrap, a feature found every week exclusively here on Fox 19. Chad will also join us live on Wednesday night as we bring you a 30-minute special previewing the Bengals' first playoff game in 15 years. The show starts at 6.30, leading up to UC basketball at 7. A big night of sports coverage Wednesday here on Fox 19. Tonight, the Giants are facing the Raiders, and Tiki Barber could be on his way to his third 200-yard game of the year. He went for 139 in the first half, including this 95-yard touchdown run. Great downfield blocking by Plexico Burris helping to pave the way. Oakland was able to answer as quarterback Kerry Collins Found Randy Moss from 15 yards out, and we're happy to report the moon wasn't out in Oakland tonight. The Giants can clinch the NFC East with a win. They lead the Raiders 27-21 late third quarter.